Hey guys, so today I wanted to do Blood of the Fold, another book, actually book three in the Sword of Truth series. So, this book is one of my favorites. I find myself coming back to read this one uh, often. It's only about 623 pages and uh, it's got so much going on. Okay, so this book introduces Jagging. He is he's he's like such a villain like okay i like dark and raw more because dark and raw had way more swag like <laughs> jagan is like like classic villain like he's just you can tell that he's a villain he's got the muscles the bald head the funny mustache i mean his, his eyes even swirl he's such a villain like it's no no mistaking it all right so it starts off with the scissors of the dark trying to summon the keeper as they usually do and instead they get him and he's losing his mind he's like torturing them and he's crazy and uh they all wake up in a sweat and they're on a boat and they're butt naked and they're like they're like okay where's the keeper he's not here for us where is he at and so in the end they they, they realize there is richard's fault for banishing the keeper and then they gotta go get revenge on him but right now jaken has ordered them to go back to the old world and if they don't come back he's going to really do weird things to them so so they uh go back and uh he ends up doing weird things to them, but anyway, he's not the main baddie in this series. The main baddie is Tobias, uh, I think Tobias Brogan, and his sister Lunetta. They are the funniest villains, like, in my Ever. opinion, Tobias is crazy. I mean, he's crazy. Uh, he, he believes everybody's a Baneling. By the way, a Baneling in the book, in the Seeker book, is not the same way as the Seeker series. In the series, a Banelian is like a walking dead zombie sort of thing, which is pretty cool. But in this, is anybody who does with the Keeper. And, uh, I mean, I'm on book five. The zombies are not coming so far. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, is anybody who does with the Keeper and friends with the Keeper. And uh, he thinks everybody is. In the end, he even thinks that the creators is a keep is a is a Banelian as well. And uh, that's just that's he just bosses his sister around because uh, she has magic, and he believes in stomping out all magic. That's why he's kind of like uh, with Emperor Jangin in the first place because they both believe in stomping out all magic. And though ironically and hypocritically, they both use magic because Jangin is a dreamwalker, and Tobias' sister has magic and a bunch of other. I'm not going to give away because no spoilers, but it's, it's, um, it's very hypocritical. And so they, uh, they go and they want to uh, banish everybody with it. And Tobias has to cut off people's nipples. So he is, he is such, I actually like him as a villain because he is so sick. And he's got a lot of flair. And he's got that weird Nickel Barcy uh, accent, and, and which, he, which uh, Tara does a great job, like doing, like you can, like he'll skip a few words and like say me instead of my. And um, he cuts off people's nipples to control them. He takes them first as souvenirs. Anybody with magic, he'll cut off their left nipple and then like just save it in a little box and like look sad and just be like. Mm, you know, and then he uses it sometimes for spells, and so he cuts off this girl, uh, uh what's her name, Catherine, I think, yeah, yeah, Catherine, and makes her spell, and so that she can attract any guy, and she attracts Richard, and so she, her job is to lure Richard with her, and like, and then kill him, but um, it works out, but like throughout this entire book. You're gonna find yourself so mad and so scared that he's gonna cheat on Caitlyn. That you're going to be like, I don't even want to read this no more. Like, it's, it's then like... Then, after that, Richard destroys the Midlands. Uh, which Caitlyn feels like is a stab in her heart and a betrayal. Because, I mean, the Mother Confessor is the Midlands. It's all about people being able to do their own thing, but under, like, no one rule. And Richard realized that if he doesn't do that, and he allows the Imperial Order to do it, like, the whole world's lost. So he decides to unite everybody under the horror and cut out... The, uh, and make sure the Midland is like no more the Midlands. It's all under his rule. So Caitlin is, she's heartbroken, but she understands. And so it kind of feels, as a, as a female, it feels kind of like, okay, wow, well, it's like under a guy's rule. But you can also understand like Richard's not the type of guy. He's, he's already proven himself that he's not that sort of dude. That he really is trying to protect the Imperial Order because when they get somewhere, 
they lose their freaking mind. So you gotta have patience, like you have to like believe in Richard in this book and like trust that he's not going to be a jerk and uh, just not trying to seize all power. It's a lot of military stuff in this one. Uh, Zed gets carried away and <laughs> gets captured by Anne. And uh, it's got it's got Mir Swift and Garfs and the Wizards Keep and the Slif. If y'all haven't seen the Slif yet, it is like she's this quick silver like computer being that those not computer, but she's like that because she's made out of like things like no like what Mercury looks like. She supposed to looks like that. And you can see her little face, and they talk more about her. Man oh my gosh! When you get to the story about the Slif in Book Four, you're gonna be like mouth is dropping you know like, it's so good and um yeah it's a great book i'm trying my best not to do spoilers i reread it for y'all uh yesterday a few pa a few passages uh so that i could be kind of refreshed and oh you're going to get into a lot more with sister verna she be should i say this uh, she becomes pilot and she's with uh warren uh, from the last book and it's very sweet and it's very interesting it's very triumphant and uh then it gets weird and the sisters of the dark return and i don't i'm not gonna say too much I'm like you're gonna be like oh my gosh i told half the book so i'm not gonna go into it anymore but read it it's got a lot going on it's one of my favorites and you will not be sorry so, like I say, in all of my books, reviews, and every video that I make, I am also an author. My book is my first sci-fi. It is not as thick or as big as The Seeker, but it's my first one. It's about 375 pages, so it's like half, about half this size. And um, it's available in the link below. And uh, thank you all guys for watching. I will hopefully talk to you all again Monday with another Walking Dead review. Okay, guys. Bye. <laughs>